family today i want to talk to you about what i like to call the giver of life and the giver of life goes by the name of oxygen and there are a lot of us who need oxygen and pure air in our lungs more than anything else because the lung area might be your weakness every faculty in the body must have oxygen particularly the brain the most active part of your body i would say from a bright vibration standpoint um, the brain requires more than four times the amount of oxygen than any other part of the body to repair and build tissue. Over the last close to two years now, there has been an attack on oxygen. And that is something that people aren't aware of as they walk and go about their day with their mask on and not going outside out of fear and anxiety and stress over everything that's been going on and oxygen and fresh air are not things that you're going to be able to get properly if you're constantly covering your face or constantly in the house and you do not go outside the oxygen of course that's coming through the lungs are going to require you to be strong. It's going to require strength. We must also have a good brain in order to have good lungs because they both work hand in hand. People that need extra oxygen must have sufficient iodine for a good metabolism and iron to attract the oxygen, especially people that live in the cities. If you live in New York City, you know what I'm talking about. These cities are smug with fog and with all of the driving and all of the unnatural means that people have in order to sustain their businesses the cities are filthy so especially people that live in the city you need to get out and get fresh air there's an area in the brain right back here it's called the medulla oblongata this is referred to as the chest brain um, because this is the respiratory control center and oxygen builds the efficiency of the chest brain to improve respiration. And one easy way, it's not always the case to tell if your medulla oblongata is exhausted, if it's tired, if it's worn out, is if you are constantly yawning. There are people who don't only yawn when they're tired, they're yawning all throughout the day. And what that means is this particular area, your chest brain is broken down and it's in dire need of more oxygen. And that's something simple as going into an area that has a lot of trees, maybe a lake. I have an area like that around me. I go there and I catch my vibe over there. I try to do it at least four days a week. But that particular area in the brain, if you find yourself constantly yawning, it could be that you need that or it could be a lack of minerals. Also, there might be some of you who constantly feel stifled for air, um, shortness of breath. Maybe you just take a walk down the block or even just walk up the stairs and you feel a real shortness of breath that could be suggesting that you need iodine remember iodine is something that your thyroid gland uses it's the essential mineral of the thyroid gland that needs to be in supply because when you have a constant shortness of breath that can suggest that iodine is needed to help bring more oxygen into the body by raising the metabolism of the body and natural sources of iodine is kelp bladderwrack dulse and of course, well-crafted sea moss. Those are natural sources of iodine because we have to understand that there are things that you can buy and you'll look at the ingredients and it'll just say iodine. Doesn't list the source. Where is it coming from? Because if it's an unnatural source, chances are it will not be able to resonate, vibrate at the same frequency as the particular organ or gland that might need that particular mineral we are frequency beings and we need to get things that vibrate at a frequency so that they can resonate in our body and give us the natural effects or so that you'll be able to see a difference when you start taking these minerals it's better to get it from food sources now if you're not sure if you are lacking a sufficient amount of oxygen there are a couple of symptoms where you'll be able to tell and one of them aside from the shortness of breath is a heavy feeling of tiredness 
or a depression that has no explanation. But one, th one way to help with those things that is also free is sunshine because sunshine has the ability to draw the carbonic acid from the body, which will improve your nerve function. And carbonic acid is just the waste product that is coming out of the body after the tissues are oxidized and broken down. Now, someone who has a high percentage of carbonic acid, which is similar to having like too much carbon dioxide in your body with reduced oxygen is when it becomes nighttime. The nighttime is not fun for someone who has low oxygen because at night the symptoms are aggravated and they have lower energy and depressed breathing, which is going to make for a very uncomfortable sleep. Also, there's going to be lowered vitality, just dragging through the day, extremely tired, dulled senses, weakness in your respiratory area, obviously. Um, you could have fainting spells, dizzy spells. Mm, speech is difficult. Swallowing is difficult. Also, if it gets to the extreme point, even a collapse is also possible. There's a couple of other things when oxygen is insufficient. Your digestion will also become poor because you need heat in the body in order to have proper digestion. And in order to have proper heat, you need to have oxygen. Also, memory gets weakened a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You're not able to remember dates, places, names, things like that. And something... My pumpkin spice candle is about to turn over. Something else is a person who lacks oxygen has a regard for their future rather than the present. They anticipate the future a lot, which is now known as anxiety. People that don't stay in the now, they're constantly thinking about future, future, future. That can be caused from depressed oxygen. You have to get out into the sun to draw the waste out. You have to get out into areas that are more wild than city-like so that you can get pure oxygen, fresh air, always around wherever there is a natural, a, a natural park. If your iron is deficient, ladies especially, this means that you are already lacking oxygen. So imagine that your iron levels are extremely low, heavy menstrual cycle, seven days, five days, some people 10 days or more, oxygen is 100% lacking in your body and it causes excess irritability, a lot of irritability and it's going to affect your emotions. So when your entire body is oxygen starved, iron is deficient, emotional irritability. Other ways aside from fresh air to go out and get oxygen, is natural foods. Natural foods are loaded with oxygen. Blueberries, blackberries, cherries, wild cherry juice, green peppers, red peppers, uh, mustard greens, onions. Think all natural foods, raw foods, things that haven't been cooked where the, the actual mineral balance has changed due to the fire that's added to the food. So ladies, if you are having issues with heavy menstrual, then you have to work on the, that particular issue by increasing your natural foods, getting natural air outside, going into the parks, exercising, herbal tea always helps, water, and reducing your intake of animal products and cooked foods, replacing those with natural foods, fresh raw foods that are not filled with pesticides, herbicides, all of these different things that are disrupting nature's chemical balance. I know something like oxygen is a very simple thing for us to talk about and pure air, but a majority of the issues that I have been getting via email or DMs are people whose level of respiration are lowered drastically. I mean, people can't go down the block anxiety is heightened, depression is extreme, and mental depression robs oxygen from the body. Anytime you are in a state of stress, depression, chaos, and there's no balance, and there is no peace in your life, you are robbing your body 
of not only oxygen, but essential minerals that your body needs in order to perform all of its functions. And I'm going to do another video or several videos where we're going to talk about what I would say is at least the top 12 essential minerals that we need to always have in our body and where we can get these minerals from. I started with oxygen and pure air because that's an element that you could just go outside and get if you are in the right place. And if you're not in the right place, you need to go there, especially if you have any of the issues that I that I mentioned. And this is not something that you want to wait to happen because especially due to this pandemic, you have the mass, which means people are not releasing the carbon dioxide in their body. And we have to understand that the asphyxiation that people are having is due to oxygen starvation and it is excessive carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide needs to come out of your body because this exchange between us and a plant, they want the carbon dioxide, we want the oxygen. If we are not releasing our carbon dioxide, we are destroying our internal structure. We have to get outside and we have to get fresh air. This isn't going to help. Some people are wearing these still things still. It is going on two years. It actually is over two years, but we need to bring in fresh air. We have to get rid of these, um, what does grub from the garden call them? Face diapers. <laughs> we have to get rid of these face diapers and bring back the natural ability to see somebody's full face. That, it's, it's being attacked. All you're seeing right now is this. Being able to see somebody's full face can bring pleasure to somebody. That could brighten your day. Just being able to take in a fresh air. Spontaneous oxygen removal oversupplied by carbon dioxide can literally bring loss of consciousness, uh, failure of reflexes, muscle relaxation, retarded heart action, all of that. We have to get back to going outside and getting air immediately. We need this exchange. Get a house plant. Google plants that help with air purifying. This is an orchid, that's not necessarily one, I just think it's beautiful. We have to get into this exchange. We have to get back into seeing people's entire face, breathing and going outside. Okay, family?